Thank you so much. Thank you all the witnesses coming for this important hearing and raising awareness about the issues at our port. Um, even though Los Angeles and Long Beach airports are the biggest ports in the United States, companies are leaving Long Beach and LA. Ports in California had been in chaos and now have turned into ghost towns. West Coast ports have major backlog caused in part by ships idling off the coast of Southern California. It makes matter worse. California regulations like um, AB5 and new environmental regulations cause independent truckers to leave California and they cannot come back in. There has been also been years for long headache around the Longshoreman's uh, contract which is still being negotiated. It's almost a year now. In 2023, the output at Long Beach and LA ports are down 30%. You said here 42%, but 30% compared to the first quarter of last year. The uh, FY23 NDAA included my Supply Chain Task Force Act to ensure the government works with our ports to improve effectiveness. So Mr. Atkin, our ports need to allow automation. You were just talked about just a little bit about it and modernization to compete with our major port. We need to ensure that our ports are always modernizing so that we can expand trade and move goods. Do you think we can enhance ports with new technologies and automation that will help protect our workers and allow us to compete with other ports around the world? Now that's a fantastic question and it's one that's equal on the East Coast and West Coast. Um, I don't think we should confuse autom automation with modernization. Modernization of ports means bigger cranes to service the larger ships. Um, when we talked about dredging in New York in 1997, um, the industry thought 5,600 um, TEUs, 20-foot equivalents, was going to be the biggest ship this harbor would ever see. We are now handling 16,000 TEU-sized vessels, and they're scrapping vessels smaller than 8,000 TEUs. So modernization really is keeping up with the size of the vessels, um, looking at sustainability with, uh, you know, hybrid equipment, all electric equipment, and also using data to be able to streamline and pass off cargo from one part of the supply chain to the other. So there needs to be a consistent investment in the harbors and the ports to be able to handle the larger ships. And larger ships are beneficial to the U.S. consumer because the economy of scales of a container load of shoes coming on a um, 16,000 TU vessel means it's much cheaper transportation costs than on the smaller vessel. So it's incumbent upon, you know, government and private industry to keep investing in the infrastructure and modernizing these facilities. And, uh, you know, everyone benefits from that. Thank you for that answer. Um, I have a question to uh, Mr. Roma Romano that I just read the Korean newspaper. I speak Korean as my first and Japanese my second, so I read all these newspapers. And CCP, actually, Korea doesn't have that kind of like a battery building materials. So what happened was yesterday, they just announced that they're gonna invest over trillion dollars to Korea and they're building these batteries and then they wanna sell it that it was made in Korea and coming in to the United States. How are we gonna stop this kind of loopholes? Yeah, look, that's a great question. Um, Korea is a big market for us. Uh, it's probably the third largest market we sell into behind India. Uh, yeah, we, we, I made reference to that even in Africa with regards to the minerals that are being mined in that area by Chinese producers who historically don't own assets there. Um, and I was not aware of the article you just referenced in uh, Korea. But uh, it's one of the biggest struggles that we have, and I think the best thing we can do in the U.S. is support development of that technology in the U.S., and each and other countries like Korea should do the same. 
Um, Korea is a huge trading partner, partner with China. Uh, a lot of our business in Korea over the course of the, uh, through the pandemic has been significantly impacted because China slowed down their production, therefore Korea slowed down theirs. So I think what we're talking about here in the U.S., trying to reinforce how we can you know, make in the U.S. and sell in the U.S., other countries need to do the same thing. Thank you. I yield back.